Today, only 50 airworthy Spitfires survive. Maintaining one of these aircraft costs tens of thousands of dollars a year. Tom bought the aircraft for almost $2 million and invested over 300,000 more, restoring it to its former glory. Aviation experts John Romain and Mo Overall led the project. Now, Tom wants Mo's team to bring the Spitfire home to Easton for him to fly. Mo's team decides to dismantle the Spitfire and ship it to America inside a cargo container. The move will cost Tom nearly $40,000. The team's main concern is, will the Spitfire still be fit to fly when it arrives? You run the risk that every container is going to be banged or knocked at some point in that shipping process. There's the road transport, ships, the craneage. I mean, the worst case scenario is that the container actually rolls over and then you really are into a lot of damage. The first task we do when dismantling this aircraft is we'll remove all the main panels. Splendid. You have to bag up the screws so you know where they go, because every screw is different. Every component that's taken off is checked and cleaned and wrapped up. When you're working away from base, you don't want to find any part that's damaged. So when you get to the other side, it's straight on and you know it's OK. With its innards exposed, they can begin to take the Spitfire apart. Its unusual design makes this difficult. The problem with the Spitfire is that the wings carry the undercarriage legs. So once the wings are off, the fuselage is completely immobile. As the team removes the wings from the fuselage, they also take away the plane's only form of support, making it dangerously nose-heavy. To stabilize the Spitfire, they will take off the heavy propeller first and build support towers under the plane's fuselage, nose, and tail. Extra towers will prop up the wingtips. With the aircraft balanced, they'll use cranes to lift off the Spitfire's wings. With the towers in place, they carefully remove the Spitfire's propeller. With the propeller on and the aircraft on jacks, it's quite tail light. Um, you have to be very careful that it doesn't tip on its nose. The slightest dent on the propeller blade could fundamentally damage the aircraft's flying performance. Right. The crew has to carefully remove the Spitfire's wings to fit it inside the crate. They'll lift the half-ton wings up with straps. To prevent the straps from tearing into the underside wing panels, they protect them with padded wooden beams. It's always a bit nerve-wracking when the wings come off. Uh, we have to make sure everything is trestled very carefully because it's quite unbalanced, the aircraft. Up. OK, up and down. Get ready, because I, I don't know quite what it's going to do. All right, here she comes. Here it comes. The wing is the most difficult part to take off because it's awkward to hold and it's awkward to handle and it's also very heavy. OK. Clear. Splendid. One wing down, one wing to go. OK. Yeah. There it comes. 